Welcome to the section on DHCP, DNS, Group Policy, and Basic AD Tools. Since you're now becoming more proficient with PowerShell, let's branch out and discover some new commands. We'll look at Advanced Command Discovery, Intro to Managing DNS with PowerShell, Intro to Managing DHCP with PowerShell, and then we'll generate a PowerShell tool to find obsolete AD computers, as well as a, generate a PowerShell tool for Active Directory user password resets. In this video, we'll look at Advanced Command Discovery. First, we'll take a deeper look into Command Discovery, and then we'll look at Random Command Discovery. On our domain controller, we're going to do git command, and then we're going to do git ps drive, and then we're going to look at what it returns for us. And here we have the command type, we have the name, git ps drive, we have the version, and then we have the source. And in this case, the source is going to be the module or whatever component houses this command. In this case, we see it's the Microsoft.PowerShell.Management module. Now, this is important because if we know a command, but we want to see if there's other commands that in some way relate to the system of which that command belongs, we can use git command, we can use the module parameter, and then we can put the Microsoft.PowerShell.Management. Now, this will also tab complete, and then when we hit enter, we get a long list of all the commands that are in that same module, and they're going to some extent relate to each other, or the system that they belong to. So let's just take one at random, like restart or rename computer. Let's go with rename computer. And what you can do is you can highlight the one you're interested in learning more about, and then simply right-click it in the console. When you right-click in the console, that copies it. So now, on our command line, we can type help, space, and then we right-click again, and it will paste what we just copied into the command line. We hit enter, and now we're going to get the help file for this rename computer command. And then we get all the information that we want. And this is a nice way, if you've got a few commands you've discovered, you like what they do, you wonder if there might be any other commands in the similar system management as those, whether it be Active Directory, DHCP as we'll see, DNS as we'll see, etc. So let's look at some other discovery. So we're going to do CLS to clear the screen. We're going to do Git Module. And here's the modules that we have loaded. Now you'll notice there's no Active Directory. There's no DHCP or DNS or group policy or anything like that. By default, PowerShell, to be quicker, is only going to load a few modules by default. Now, there's a few ways that we can bring those other modules in, and we're going to look at that as it relates to GPO. So if we do a git command, star GPO star, to see if there's any GPO commands for group policy, we'll see that we get some. And we can see over on the source that group policy is listed as the module. Now, if we do git module, again, we'll notice that the group policy module is not listed there. But we know we have those commands because when we did git command, it found those commands do exist on our computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to import module. And we're going to spell it just like it was listed as the source, import module group policy. We get no return, but we get no errors. Now, if we do a git module, we can see that now it's listed. Now it's imported into our current session. There's a few other ways, and we're going to do remove module. To remove it, now if we do a git module, we'll see that it's gone. So we'll clear the screen again. Now we're going to do a git gpo. Now we can tab complete that. You'll see that it capitalized everything that's supposed to be capitalized, so we know that that command exists and that we have spelled it correctly. So if we hit enter, now it's going to prompt us for more information than it needs to run that command, but we're not actually interested in running the command. We wanted to load the module. So we'll control C to cancel that. But now if we do git module, it auto loaded the whole entire group policy module because we called one of the commands from it. Now I want to show you something that's nice as far as when you're learning. Say you want to learn more about the group policy module and all the group policy commands. 
one nice way that you can at random grab one of the commands so that you can examine it is to do a get command use the module parameter like we did earlier type group policy you can tab complete it that way you know you spelled it correctly and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a get random now what this does is it gets one result and it randomly selects it so if you run it again you're going to get a different one most likely and then what you can do at this point is now you've grabbed a random command from that module we'll clear the screen we'll hit the up arrow to replicate that we're going to pipe it one more time to help now at this point what we're doing is we're going to that specific module but we're going to pull a random commandlet that we want to just expand our knowledge on and we're going to just pull the help file right up for that directly now this was the set gp link if we do a control c we clear the screen and we run that exact same command again we'll get a completely different commandlet and the help file for it this is great if you've got 10 minutes to pull a random command read through get a basic understanding of how it works and you do this enough before you know it you'll be a group policy module expert